the declaration of the result. Um, I, Richard Flinton, being the acting returning officer for the election of a Member of Parliament for the Harrogate and Knaresborough constituency, held yesterday, Thursday, 4th of July 2024, do hereby give notice that the number of valid ballot papers for each candidate uh, is as follows. Thomas Gordon, commonly known as Tom Gordon, Liberal Democrat, 23,976. <laughs> Stephen Paul Haslam, commonly known as Paul Haslam, Independent, 620. Andrew Hanson Jones, Conservative Party candidate, 15,738. <laughs> Stephen Douglas Metcalf, 136. Sean Ursula Rigby, commonly known as Sean Oakes, Green Party candidate, 1,762. <laughs> Jonathan Mark Swales, Reform UK, 5,679. <laughs> Conrad James Whitcroft White, commonly known as Conrad James Whitcroft, Labour Party, 4,153. <laughs> I hereby declare that Thomas Gordon is duly elected. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you to the elections team at North Yorkshire Council and all of the camp staff. This is the biggest camp I've ever seen and it's truly something to behold. Um, you've overseen an absolutely fantastically smooth running election, so thank you very much. This is a historic moment for Harrogate and Knaresborough, the country and the Liberal Democrats too. We are back! <laughs> Back in Harrogate and Knaresborough, back in Yorkshire, back in the north, and back right across our country. <laughs> A huge thank you to everyone who has supported me in my campaign over the last 18 months to two years, including our fantastic Liberal Democrat councillors from across North Yorkshire, our amazing staff team, and a few special mentions to Mike Newby, who's been there all the way, David Good as the local party chair, who has been phenomenal, and of course staff David Lawrence and Felix Andrew, and the countless volunteers who have come not just from Harrogate and Knaresborough, but across the country to make sure we won. And thank you to Ed Davey. He's truly led a campaign from the front, injecting some much needed fun into this election, whilst also putting front and centre the issues of care and caring that are so important. And mostly, of course, thank you to the people of Harrogate and Knaresborough who have put their trust in me to represent them and champion the issues that matter most. People of all walks of life who have been let down and taken for granted again and again by this out-of-touch Conservative government. No matter how you voted in this election, I hear you, I will fight for you all year round. And I promise to be your local champion in Parliament, just like Phil Willis was. Yeah. I love our beautiful corner of Yorkshire, and to be elected to represent you in Parliament is truly the honour of my life. I won't let you down, you've told me the changes you want to see, whether that be tackling the cost of living, ending the appalling sewage scandal, and most of all, fixing our health and care crisis. And I will work hard every single day to make that happen. Thank you. Can I start by thanking our 
our returning officer, and thank you to all the teams working at the count and across the polling stations today, and also to the police for all of their work keeping us safe throughout this campaign. Congratulations to Tom on his victory this evening. We've had a very good contest, so thanks also to Conrad, Shan, Paul, and John. It has been a wonderful honor to represent my home area in Parliament. And looking back over the 14 years, there have been many positive changes for Harrogate and Knaresborough. There's a great platform for the future. But tonight, the national situation is very clear. Tonight is Labour's night, a Labour government from a Labour landslide, and also a very clear rejection of the Conservatives. Analysis of that is for another day, but congratulations for them too. Some final thank yous. I'd like to thank the team in my office who have busted a gut to help people. They have done a fantastic job and made a real difference to so many. To my campaign team, thank you. You have worked phenomenally hard, not just during this campaign period, but over a sustained months and years up to that. And above all, to the people of Harrogate and Nairsborough for putting their trust in me four times. It has been a great privilege. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have a busy night in front of us, so just